Hello people, hello Amara and Joan and everyone else watching this video. So I said I was going to place an ad on Naira Land, Nigeria's most popular online forum. And so I've done it and I just want to show you exactly how to do it, the process of placing an advertisement on Naira Land and it's very, very easy. This is part of the process that brings us prospects without us having to reach out to them, they reach out to us first, without just having to disturb relatives or friends. This is the process. It makes us like universal salespeople. And our location doesn't really matter. So this is it. After this video, I'm going to show you how it is done on Facebook also. The Facebook content is a lot lengthier, but it is worth its time in gold. It's, it's very valuable. 99% of the public don't know how to do this just simply because they have not made that information available to themselves. They have not familiarized themselves with the information. So for Naira Land, this is how it goes. This is the Naira Land homepage. And this is the homepage. In mobile view, it will look a little bit different. So. At the top here, you can see advertisement slots, three advertisement slots at the top, and there are three advertisement slots at the bottom. So six advertisement slots anytime the page loads on desktop mode. But in mobile mode, it's only one at the top and one at the bottom. So what we have here is we have a situation where we have only one, two, three, four slots taken off the six so there are two spaces so whenever you find empty spaces you can click on the link and it will lead you to this page here how to place targeted ads on naira land and it explains the process which is very simple actually if you don't see any free slots you can refresh until you see a free slot and you can click on it or you can just click on any of the sections. Now I've clicked on NYFC and I've had it opened here already. So when you do that, you're going to see that the estimated rate for advertising on this section is 426 Naira per week. Now it is very affordable. The prices change across the different sections of Naira land, but the prices are usually reflective of the kind of traffic that gets there. So because this is one of the cheaper sections, you find out that the slots are usually taken. Now, this didn't load properly, otherwise you would have seen it. it's only one slot, it's only one slot left here. <coughs> so I was saying that if you don't see any free slot that you can click on to get to how to place targeted ads in Ireland. You simply click on one of the sections which I've done here and when you get there you're going to see the advertisement rate and when you click on the estimated advertisement rates, I've already clicked on this and it leads you to the page that shows you the ad rates for all the different sections. And as you can see, the home page costs 280,000 Naira per week because of the volume of traffic. And let's go to the home page. There are, how many ads are there now? There are already five ads there. So people are buying up these slots. Let's go to, so that's. 280,000 Naira per week, 40,000 Naira per day, 1.2 million Naira per month. So you have to look at what you're trying to sell and the section that will best suit it, that will be best suited for advertising what you're trying to sell. If you're trying to sell something that has to do with relationships, you go here. Gossip news, you go here. Family, travel, sports, sports and Male sexual enhancement, 
products go well together. Go well together. And here you have 9,447,000 per week. So I chose to advertise in the NYSB section. Anyway, this just shows you the prices. It just shows you the rates for each section. You will choose the section you want to advertise in based on what you think you can afford and what section best suits what you're trying to do. In other words, the kind of people that you want to target. So, and from this page, you can see this link campaign. If you click on it, you are going to get to this page. And on this page, what you do is you upload an ad, you upload a graphic. You upload the graphic, and when you upload the graphic, you put the URL of the page you want them to land on when they arrive, when they click on your ad. When you do that, your ad is going to be pending. When it's approved, your ad will show up in the section that you have chosen. Now I have two Nairland accounts. This is one, but I have another one here where I've already uploaded my graphic. So here, I've uploaded my graphic, and this is the graphic I've uploaded. I've had two advertisements I've run here in the past. So I just did this, say, 30 minutes ago. Emery, you, you can end your service here in millions if you are humble enough to learn the skills this business opportunity presents you. I uploaded the new ad using the upload new ad link and what I'm supposed to upload is just the graphic and then I, I get asked to provide the URL and this is my unique URL to the Cairo system to get people to watch our video and want to be part of the business. So this is the account in which I am running ads. I'm running ads from this account. The other one is fresh. I haven't done any ads there. So I'm going to just go through the process here so that you can see how it's done. I won't run the ads here, but I'll pretend to be running or to want to run ads here. And you're going to see how easy it is. So I'm at campaign, nairland.com slash campaign, which is where you're supposed to go. I will click upload new ad. Now that leads me to this page from which I'm supposed to choose the graphic for my ad. So I click on choose file. And this is the graphic here that I'm using. I'll select it, say open, and it has picked up the file. It must have been uploaded. Now here is where I'm supposed to put the landing page. It could be any page. In this case, it's our unique referral link to our business opportunity. So I'll just fix I will just use the one given to me for Kairos team for the email business opportunity and then I will click upload ad. Then I wait for it to get uploaded. So you can see it has been uploaded, the status is pending. This is the link people will get so when they click on this ad. But now I have to choose the board I want it to be on. I want it to be on the NYST board. So I'll look for it. I think I've seen it. This is affordable. And I have to say submit. Now what's going to happen is I have to wait for it to be approved. 
if I wait for some hours, if not it approved, I will just simply call customer support and they will look at it and either approve it or disapprove it for the reasons they give to me. Now, if they are disapproving of it, they will, if they are disapproving the ad, they will tell me why they are disapproving the ad. And that brings me to how to place targeted ads in Ireland. There are some things that you're supposed to take, a, you're supposed to consider, you're supposed to take a look at before you start or before you run your ad on Ireland. The graphic should be 318 pixels wide and 106 pixels tall. It should be less than 30 kilobytes in size. It should be of PNG or JPEG format. These are very easy requirements to meet. Now, the other thing is this section. What kind of ads will you not accept in Ireland? We will reject ads that we consider to be ethically or morally questionable in one way or the other. We reject ads for HYIPs and most MLMs because they are fundamentally unstable. We reject ads for health remedies that make claims that have not been verified by NAFDA because we know that they don't work as advertised. advertised. We reject online betting and forex trading ads not for moral reasons but per se, but because we know that most people who patronize these businesses expect to make money, but the vast majority of them will lose money. We also reject some mailing list building ads, blah, 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 blah. So this will give you a guide as to the kind of ad you can place here. However, this this ad is for an MLM opportunity, but the content does not speak of MLM in any way at all. And the landing page where you land when you click on the link does not speak of MLM. So you can run this ad anywhere. So I think that's about it. Um, you can, this video helps you have an idea of all the things you need to consider before running your ad on Nairland. Uh, you're going to be told, I forgot to, to mention that you should pay money into, you should pay money into Nairland account. Uh, you, you can, you can start running your ads when you've paid at least 20,000 Naira into Nairland account and then your ads will start running for you. So this is how, this is one way we are going to direct traffic to our offer and ensure that we don't have to be talking to people. Instead, people will be reaching out to us. Now, I have to tell you that Facebook is way better. This is going to perform poorly compared to Facebook. It's already known. And that is why the Facebook classes will be different. It won't be one video where I'm just trying to, to, to do an overview of how you place ads on Facebook. It's going to be one day for one aspect of the Facebook advertisement plan, another day for another aspect. So that by the time you've gone through it, I like to say 99% of the population will be behind you in terms of knowledge, knowledge on how to run Facebook ads. So that is what is going to be happening. So I hope you guys come on board on time because in Team Kairos, we have not even started. The ads that are going to be put out by Ronald Njimora, one of Nigeria's topmost internet sales marketers hired by multi-million Naira brands in Nigeria to run advertisements for them every year. Those ads that are supposed to bring people to buy products for Emery under Team Kairos and get people to sign up to the Emery team under Team Kairos, those ads are only coming out slowly. In a week or two, there's going to be a massive explosion. We have 261 people in our team now in Team Kairos in just about six weeks. And when that happens, you're going to have at least 150 people who start running ads this way. And you can imagine the massive growth. Now, I want you to be one of the first people doing that, and that's why I'm sharing this with you. And I'm hoping that we benefit from this initial wave that is going to happen, is about to happen in Nigeria, and quite frankly speaking, in a few countries around the world.